Hello and welcome back to our series about Das Studio, the free 3D content manipulation app from Das 3D, available for Windows and Mac OS. In this episode, we're talking about what happens when Das Studio or any of its components needs to be updated. How do we handle that? I've shown you in a previous video how we can install both Das Studio and Das Studio content with a little tool called Install Manager. And there will come the point, and it happened to me today, so I thought I'd better show you this and take the opportunity to put it on tape. What happens when there's an update available for both Das Studio as well as Install Manager as well as content you have installed? Well, let's do this. I'm going to launch, I'm on my Mac here, by the way, and I'm going to launch my Install Manager. And when this window appears, then usually what we do is we just hit the start button to log into my account. But what may happen on occasion is that DAS have updated Install Manager itself, in which case we can see a message like this. An update for Install Manager has been detected. And what they're saying is that without this update to Install Manager applied, I won't be able to update either DAS Studio or any of my content. I can still work offline if I'm thinking, oh, I don't have time for this now. You can still work offline in Store Manager. In fact, let's do it. You can still work offline. In Store Manager will launch as usual, and you can still uninstall content here, but you can't install things anymore. So this tab is grayed out, the ready to download tab. You can still search your database. That's fine. You can do that. And as I said, you can uninstall content, but you won't be able to update or download new content. So to do that, you either have to then quit Install Manager and relaunch it, and then you get the option again to install the update automatically, or you press this little icon here. And if you do that, then uh, that dialog gets triggered manually. And in that case, you can say update. So I'm going to do that now. The current version is always available up here. This is the current version that I've got. Uh, install Manager is 1.1.0.74. And I believe on my Windows system it's updated already. So I'm going to hit update and we'll see what happens. Of course, it'll take a little bit of time for that to happen. And in this time, Install Manager will download the new version. It'll replace it. It will install it automatically. My Mac prompts me to type in my supervisor password or my administrator password, which uh, it's a good thing to remember that. Uh, I'm not sure actually how it works on Windows. I think it works automatically. Uh, you don't, I don't think you get prompted for a password. And here we go, things like being uninstalled and then reinstalled, but none of your settings should change. So right now the system is coming back and uh, my install manager is now has been updated to 1.1.0.100. It's still 32 bit. I explained that before. There's nothing to worry about. So now I should be able to start and launch right in. And then I should be able to see all my kind of outdated components and uh, projects that, that are in dire need of an update. So I'm on the install tab here. Let me go to the ready to download tab. And here I can see a couple of things. So there's th we've previously only seen this tab here um, on the ready to download tab, this option products and I can uh, open it or close it. But what we haven't seen before is this thing here, product updates. And that's something that if any of your components that you've currently installed needs updating or there is an update available, you can use Install Manager to do that. And in my case, I don't see that Das Studio itself has been updated, but I do see that both the public beta and the publishing build, the two channels we also talked about, they have an update. So right now, the public is allowed to test Das Studio 4.11 and published artists are, are allowed to test an even higher version. It's still Das Studio 4.11, but it'll be something else after that. So they usually have 4.10.0.95 or whatever and those numbers after the point 11 or point 10 respectively they increase and the higher the build number the later the build is and the more bug fixes and features are inherent in that build so i can either now tick this box here this little thing and then everything that has an update will be updated which in this case is 1.8 gigabytes so perhaps i'm not going to do everything here it's also a good opportunity to uninstall some content if you think well das horse 2 has an update but i haven't used the dead horse for such a long time <laughs> no pun intended perhaps it's time to remove it from a hard drive until i need it again at which point i can then get it again with install manager 
So that's how this works. And just like before, if you if you say start queue, then you then you get it. So perhaps in in my case, I may just uh, update the public beta to 4.11, and I just hit start queue, and then only this one component will be downloaded and installed. Just like we said before, install after download will take care of that. And then here under the ready to install thing, um, the ready to install thing, the tab, the, the palette, whatever you want to call it, this little tick box, it delete package once installed, will remove it as soon as it is installed, but it won't remove any of the actual information that has been downloaded. So the version information is still there and uh, install manager can still tell when another component needs to be updated and it checks regularly every time you open it. That was it for updates for Das Studio as well as content with Install Manager. Join me in the next video. Um, and if you like this video, then of course, please share it with friends, family and total strangers. If you feel generous, you can support me on Patreon. That would be awesome. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.